Good morning, friends. Welcome to Friday sequence of yoga in pyjamas. This is the special week for women's health. And today we are going to um, address our premenstrual, premenstrual symptoms. So um, irritability, tension, um, moodiness, etc. And asanas that can be um, helpful to um, counteract those feelings, emotions, and moods. Um, if you have a bolster handy, you can use a bolster. Otherwise, we can do the whole asana with no props apart from something for your head um, that can be a blanket, a block, or something similar. So let's start. I am sitting on my heels. I will do this action sideways on to begin with. So if you can easily come to Varasana, which is feet outside the hips, you will do it in Varasana. Otherwise, sit with your buttocks underneath your, uh, well, your heels underneath your buttocks. Extend the spine, bring your hands to the sides, and then extend exhale and turn first we're turning to the right my right hand will go behind my back my left hand will come to the right side however i don't really want to use my arms necessarily for the twist i want to make the twist from my heart from my chest from my shoulders so naturally the more we coil the left shoulder blade into the back and the armpit chest the more or the more efficient the twist will be last of all we can turn the head and look over the right shoulder notice that the tendency will be to tuck the chin in instead lengthen the cervical spine as well as the rest of your spine so the chin will be at least parallel to the floor if not higher Come back to the center and we will do it to the other side. I will face forward so I can still talk to you. Inhale and lengthen the spine. Exhale and turn towards the left. So lifting and turning. I'm not using my arms, as I said before, to um, help me rotate some more. I am simply placing the hands lightly on my lap and on my um, on the floor behind my buttocks so the twist can happen from the chest area soften the abdomen as you're doing this soften the abdomen take the waist back that means that the tailbone needs to go down sitting bones down posterior side of the sacrum down last of all Move your neck, your head, and look over the wall behind you. Inhale to come back to the center. We will stretch the back of the knees after being kneeling for some time. And we will come into Prasarita Parottanasana. So first, gently walk forward on all fours. And then I will use the mat lengthways, um, I mean widthways to you. And I'll come to legs wide open. So this action will definitely open the back of my legs. Now I've placed a blanket, but you can use a bolster, a chair or anything that will be useful for you. My legs are really wide, as wide as I can take them. And so we will start the asana uh, standing up with wide legs. Measure that the two heels are equally distant to the edge of the mat. Lift the chest, send the thighs back, where it is on the outer edges of your feet, and then hook the hands on the hip bones, lift the hip bones up, middle buttock forward, inhale deeply, and as you come down, extend the spine, the spine is concave. I hope you can see that the, the spine is not um, uh, hollowing or the chest is not hollowing 
and then I come down all the way. Some people will be uh, placing the head down um, as low, but others, as I was saying, may need a bit of extra height, for example, the bolster, or even the bolster and the blanket, or more. You can prop yourselves up as much as you need to get that head supported. We will stay in here for a little while. The hands can extend away if you have trouble reaching the floor with your hands. Hold on to the chair for bricks for your hands. Let the body release, let the body go down. The thoracic spine, which is the center of your spine, needs to extend and move forwards towards the thighs and the thighs are um, para per perpendicular to the floor. Lift the inner legs, descend from the outer legs. Very gently, whilst you're inhaling, walk your hands back to level with your shoulders. Zigzag your legs, heels and toes and heels and toes and heels and toes, and then bring yourselves down again. So this um, following pose is called Supta Parakanasana and it takes a little height for the uh, back only if you want to create a better extension of your um, front ribs. So I'm going to use the same props I had shown you before. One bolster and one we did this pose at the beginning of the, the week and we were using two bolsters across the back. Today we're using this. If you don't have a bolster, go straight on the ground and that's fine. I will show you. My buttocks are approximately two or three fingers away from the uh, actual support. And then I have my two heels together, my two soles of the feet together, knees apart. So first, I will, I will move this arm away so you can see, lift, place my sacrum on that support, descend and make sure you have your head supported as well as your neck. So the little pillow, if you're using this, is going to be straight all the way down to your um, neck and shoulder tips. Lengthen the neck with your arms so the spine, cervical spine is going in one direction, lumbar spine in the opposite direction. So you've got to iron the creases at the back of your t-shirt or top or pyjamas to extend the waist, the top of the buttock away from the waist. The arms are resting facing the ceiling with the palms and I am Opening the chest. Notice that my armpits are vertical and there is a broad nest across the rib cage that allows my heart to open and my um, chest to give way for the lungs to breathe in more deeply. However, as you breathe out, don't lose that amazing lift. So don't collapse your chest as you breathe out. Keep lifting the chest. The shoulder blades are draping over the bolster. If you don't have a bolster and you're working flat on the mat, again, try to extend the spine as much as possible so the curvatures of the spine are not as pronounced. That means the waist goes down to the ground or to the mat. This action also releases the tension in the lower abdomen the um, diaphragm stretches, the skin of the abdomen stretches, however, the fibers and the organic body are soft, there is no tension, and we can stay here for as long as we need. We don't necessarily have to, um, you know, avoid eating or... Um, you can do this asana whenever you have a headache, you can place t-shirt or something, a bandage to cover your forehead, your eyes and your ears too. This is a very 
cooling down action. If you have your head um, supported as well as the front of the head covered. Well, after a little while, you blink your eyes open, take your hands to the thighs, close your legs, and we're going to roll over onto the right hand side. Make sure your right arm receives your body because you are in a little bit of height if you were using a bolster. The last pose we're going to see now, I appreciate that it's 55, uh, past um, is Viparita Karani. Um, I love this pose. If we can do it on the bed, feet up on the headrest of the bed. So I have um, a bolster or a pillow right. At, let's pretend that this is my bed. So this will be the mattress, and that is the pillow. So for um, getting into this position. You can do a roly-poly forward if you're in bed and that would be um, very safe. Otherwise, you can start facing sideways onto the wall, swing your legs up, your buttocks are supposed, this is the tricky bit, because the buttocks are supposed to stay hitting against the wall and then you will come to your elbows and then to your head, shoulders and back. I hope you can see from there the lift of the chest, the lift of the lower back, the coiling action of the armpits and the legs up on the wall. You can stay in this position again for as long as you need. This is a really restorative asana, especially if you have been walking or working, standing up for a long time. But likewise, as I was saying at the beginning, if you have a um, tendency to um, change your mood when you are about to have your period or for premenopausal uh, stages of our cycle. To come out, you simply push your feet into the wall and roll or slide off, then roll over onto the right. Uh, we would have stayed there for longer. <laughs> um, I hope you have enjoyed this week. All the videos are on the um, Instagram profile, on my Instagram profile. Please go back to them, save them and share them. You can do them together or align to your uh, cycle. Um, and if you don't have your cycle anymore, the um, asanas are very safe to practice. When we, when we feel imbalances in the hormones, maybe we have been on a diet or maybe we have been uh, on holidays and uh, taken planes, long haul uh, flights, etc. For d different reasons, our hormones will be affected. So make use of all these um, five classes we've done today and or join my classes online where today we will also be devoting a practice to um, the cycles. Namaste. Bye. <laughs>